Hi folks, how you all doing? Crust of Six here. Hope you all having a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome. And I hope you really enjoy my content. Uh, and if such, could you please help the channel out by hitting that like button? Uh, and if you want to subscribe, of course you can. You don't have to, obviously. But if you'd like to, that would be great too. And thank you to all my existing subscribers. And I hope you're all not being blighted by this pathetic coronavirus, the Chinese flu. Um, it's funny how they don't answer to that really at the moment, isn't it? It's a bit strange that. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. We're, what we're here for today is the T22 medium tank, which is for sale in the store at the moment. Um, what can I say about this tank? Don't buy it. Do not buy it. Don't waste your money. Um, this tank is very very underwhelming completely totally utterly underwhelming um i wouldn't touch this tank with a barge pole if i was you because it's crap um what's good about this tank and what's bad about this tank well if you go into the armor view it looks like it's got fairly decent ish trollish armor but it hasn't trust me it hasn't uh, what is this tank good for it's got a fairly decent cannon on it the 100 millimeter cannon um, which it does pen um, the damage output is anything up to 320 but you normally get about 280 to 300 damage per shot um, it's got fairly okayish uh, you can get around a bit in it mobility at 55 kilometers an hour which isn't too bad which I'm sure you'll agree but honestly this tank just don't waste your money please don't waste your money it's it's not that good it's great at side scraping if you're going to side scrape in it if you can reverse side scrape why because the front armor on this thing is garbage utter garbage the upper and lower glacis is just anything will pen it it's just absolutely atrocious it really is so don't waste your money on this tank and if you do buy it obviously i can't tell you whether you should or you shouldn't my advice to you would be go for something like the 907 or the object 140 or the t62a which is far far superior to this tank uh, i'm sure there's some players out there who will do very very well in this tank uh, my experience with it has been pretty garbage if i'm being honest with you it has been pretty garbage let me show you my stats on this tank so far. Um, I've played about 14, 15 battles in it, I guess. Something like that. Let me go into it and I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, it's not good. 19 battles I've played with 7 victories, 11 defeats. And I've survived out of all of them games, 5 games. Uh, my hit ratio is 75%, so that's, that's above average. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. And my damage ratio is just over 1%. Uh, damage per shot is around about the 179, 180 mark. As I say, you get about 230 to 280-ish uh, per shot. I, there's not a lot else to say about this tank. Let's take it into battle and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, it's it's the way I would advise to play this if you are indeed going to buy it or you've already bought it. Um, the first half of the match is you, you really need to kind of sit back and pick your shots um, and don't I've just played Sand River literally um, so don't try and get involved in too much stuff because you just won't survive and that's it in a nutshell really that's it in a nutshell so what are we up against well they've got one tank destroyer which is the object 268 V5 um, they've got a couple of mediums a few mediums the pattern the object 430U and a few heavies, um, a few tier eights. Okay, so I'm going to push over to around about G1 H1 area. Uh, I just think that's that would be pretty good for this for this tank. Um, it's not. It's just not that good a tank. It really isn't. In all the battles I've played, I've just not been impressed with it. It's not a tank that I think. Oh yeah, this is really good. Um, it's fairly decent at shooting on the move it's fairly accurate the cannons pretty accurate but you just can't it's not a brawler you can't get in and brawl the, the the hull gets penned very easily to the front the turret gets penned very easily if you are going to side scrape reverse side scrape so you're not you're not showing off the front of your tank mm, other than that there's not really anything dynamic i can say about this tank at all to be quite honest 
okay -ish mobility, not too bad. Is it agile? Yes. Um, does it turn on a dime? No. It's not. And artillery just wreck you every time. Artillery will wreck you. So you've really got to be careful how you play this tank, I would say. And as I say, I'm sure there are some players out there that will be exceptionally good in this tank. Uh, um, I'm not one of them, I'm just an average Joe. I, I just play for fun. If I do well, great. And if I don't, that's fine too. But for me personally, I mean, as I say, it's got a fairly accurate cannon on it, but it's just not spectacular. It's not something you'd want to write home about, if that makes sense. You know, it's it's all right. It's not great. But it's, I don't know, it's, I just don't feel the vibe for this tank. Uh, and out of the 19 battles I've played, you know, my survival rate is pretty poor to be quite honest. So, well, we've obviously lost this side, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to see if I can help the north. Um, yeah. No when to run. No when to run. And of course it's a new tank, so people don't know where to shoot it yet, but whatever you do, don't show them the front of your tank, because if you do, you're going to lose every time. I mean, it's, you know, I'm sure if you're an avid tank destroyer player, you'll do very well in this tank, but it's got major weak spots on it, it really has, and it's, is it worth the money that they're asking? No, it's not. I don't think it is. I think you're wasting your money, personally. It's just another means of war gaming. Take money out of your pocket, I guess. Yeah, so it's looking like we've lost the right-hand side now. Gun depression, 5 degrees. Again, not particularly great, I don't think. Alrighty. Yeah, so this is looking like it's a loss. We've lost two tanks. War gaming again. I mean, you can't win every game, can you? But this tank is just... It's just not good. I'm sorry, but it's just not good. And I think, you know, I wouldn't waste your money on it, personally. That's my humble opinion. Take from that whatever you want, but, you know... These games where, you know, they lose, like, two tanks... Do you think it's predetermined, perhaps? You're not supposed to win anything. You're not supposed to do anything. You know, you kind of try to do the best you can. And it's just... I don't know. The fickle finger of fate. Says, uh-uh, you ain't gonna win. Yeah, so it's not looking good for us at all. So I'm tracking... See if he's still there. I think he's still there. Yep, he's still there. Right, here they come behind us now. What have we got here? Object 705A. And if you're going to be facing somebody, try to give them your side, where you'll bounce like that. As I say, people aren't used to where to shoot this tank at the moment, so if you get a chance, give them your side. That's the best place. Be it to bounce shots. I mean, you will bounce shots in it. It's not that you won't bounce shots, as I've just seen. You do bounce shots, but you just won't bounce many shots if, it's, if you're facing them. I mean, I thought that would have been a hit there, but obviously not. Alrighty, coming up behind us. Yeah, this is a lost game. I don't really find any premiums in this tank because it's just, I mean, you, you never, you don't ever make credits anyway. 
I found you just don't make any credits in this town. Or hardly ever anyway. So we bait them over. So they're going to come up behind me any second now. Oh, pattern, 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 pattern. He's going to try and get the kill shot. And he did. There we go. So, two and a half thousand damage. Not great. Um, another loss. What can I say about this tank? It just, it doesn't perform out on the battlefield as well as it should do. It just doesn't have that feel about it. It kind of, yeah... It just really doesn't have a feel about it as a medium tank. Um, the frontal armour on it is just garbage. It really is. It, it just anything will pen you. Um, and that's not good. And the turret armour on it isn't particularly great. What it does do well at is side scraping. It does very, very well at side scraping. But reverse side scrape. Don't try and do it front on because as soon as you show the front of your vehicle, they will pen you every time. And it's always getting tracked. And I've been set on fire about four or five times, so you're definitely, definitely going to need a fire extinguisher with this tank. Um, yeah, as you can see, lost 18,000 credits. Not good at all. Came second on the list on my team. But yeah, other than that, I'll leave it up to you. I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't buy. But my strong recommendation is don't touch this with a barge pole because it's not worth the money. But at that, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, until the next one, take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all then. Bye-bye.